everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel and a product review. This product was sent to me by the company for a review and they also gave me two more to give out as giveaways. This is called the Mast Home Flat Mop or Flat Squeeze Mop rather. And guess what? I love it. Stick around. I'm going to show you how it works, why I like it and then I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about how to enter the giveaway. to mop and your grandma had two buckets she had a, a bucket of sudsy clean water and a bucket to rinse her water the reason why she was doing that is because you know you don't want to continue to wash with water that gets dirtier and dirtier and that's the problem with most mopping that we do whether you have a strain mop or you have a sponge mop you basically dip those in the same dirty water which you keep spreading on your floor is that really cleaning no yes it removes stains and all of that but let's face it if that's what you're still doing take a, a regular paper towel with you know and wet it and go over your floor like this and see if your paper towel remains white probably not so why is this different and better for you first of all this is microfiber mopping and when you order it they give you one two three four five six mop hands. Are you kidding me? I have other mop systems that are very similar to that though this one I'm going to tell you why it's different. They only give you two. This one comes with six so you put your little thing on there as you can go whichever way you want. It's super practical. It's flat enough that you can go underneath the fridge, underneath the stove, not all the way in but you get what I mean right? You really can get nooks and crannies. It can turn around the toilet bowl, all sorts of things. So it's microfiber. What it means for you is that it's really gonna grab all the dirt, including pet hair, which I have a lot of. Um, but what's the big deal about the system? It has something similar than the other flat mop types. Uh, systems have it that it has separate compartment for the clean water and the dirty water. So most of those systems you'll find will have two compartments. One where you dip your mop and you clean soapy water and then the one compartment where we squeeze all of the water. Except that when you bring back your mop that's now dirty because you've been cleaning your floor and you put it back in your bucket with the clean water you're not dirtying this water. So this back and forth and transfer, what does it do? It creates dirty water. It's kind of the same thing than the other mopping system. You pretty much mop with dirty water. That gets dirtier over time. All right, why is this different? It has three compartments. There's a clean water compartment, there's the dirty water compartment, and right in the middle, there's an intermediary, <laughs> let's call it that way, compartment where you add your clean water, mop, and then add more clean water and then mop and add more clean water and then mop. So basically what it does for you is that it's keeping the dirt level in your mopping, your actual mopping water to a minimum. Let me show you how this works. Who would have thought that anyone could get excited about a mop? <laughs> okay, well, if you like clean floors and you have pets, maybe you will. First of all, let me start with the obvious. You see how compact this is? It's very small. So this is perfect for, I don't know, studio apartment, small apartment, a condominium, uh, a place where you don't really have a big closet to put all of your cleaning supplies. It's really small. The mop handle actually disassembles. So if you want to, you can put everything in there every time you're done. You just dump everything in there and then you close it and that's the amount of space that it would take. So, how does it work? Okay, now that it's open, let me show you. You get, and it, it's been used, you can tell, so this dirt. Just saying. Disclaimer, my floors are filthy. Um, we have a compartment for clean water. That's where it goes. Then, this is where you're going to dip your mop. The water from here 
is going to go in there. And then as you need to refill this, you'll see there's a knob that transfers the clean water to here. And then when you squeeze your mop, the dirty water is going to go in there. So this is your dirty water compartment. You can either take the top off and dump your water in, you know, your sink or your slop sink, or you can use that little plug here to empty out the water. I prefer to dump the whole thing and then I rinse it, you know, as I go. So how does it really work? There's a knob right here, you see that? Right? Okay. So you gotta make sure you put your knob right here. And you just click clack this thing. You pour your hot water, that's going to be your clean water, with its soap, whatever you want to use for your floor, in here. Then you're going to turn this knob and it's going to bring the water or move the water from here to there. Not by much, it's basically going to fill this compartment by half. You see how I showed you earlier? This compartment is actually much, much smaller. It's much smaller than this one. So when you fill it up, it only fills up to about maybe 70%. It doesn't fill up all the way. Um, and that's okay because you can turn your mop around if you really need to rinse it. Then when you have your mop that's been dipped in here, every time you move it up or down, it's going to be cleaned out by these grooves right here. And I'm going to give you a close-up. There you go. So all these grooves here, what they're going to do is scrape off all the dirt, the cat hair, the dog hair that you have on your mop. And then these holes right here will capture your dirty water. And your dirty water, you see this part right here, will go directly into the dirty water um, compartment right there. So you mop, then you bring your mop back in here, you clean it out. The water, the dirty water is going to go in there and then you fill up again with clean water. You flip it around if you want to have a clean water on both sides of your mop. You mop, you bring it back in here, it's going to clean it out, dirty water goes in there and then you add your clean water again. So much and so forth and you do that until you're done. How do you put it on? Super easy, there's a little tab here, you're going to pull that out and then you'll see that there's two little tabs in here. So what you're going to do is match those three here with the three little pockets that are on here. Okay, it's on and then you just bring this back here. It's got a kind of like a Velcro system. You just put your mop flat like this, you flip it around and you do the same thing on the other side. So you pull out the tab and you insert your mop into those three little pockets and then you just close that back on and your mop head is on. So it's not a huge uh, mop head but guess what that's really all you need because I find that this microfiber is very thick and it does a great job at cleaning. So let me fill it up. I'm gonna show you how this works and then you'll tell me whether or not this is a good system. I'm going to put some Fabuloso in there. Right now that's what I'm using because I really love the smell and I don't need a lot. That's it. The more product you put in, the more it's going to foam and you really don't want that. I'm using very, very hot water. And I'm filling up the compartment for the clean water. And you can go ahead and fill it up all the way to the top. There we go. That's it. And this is really not heavy at all. You see that? I can really carry it around. So if you are um, limited in motion or you know you get easily tired, you're elderly for whatever reason, this is really not hard to carry. There's about maybe not even a gallon in there, uh, which is great. So I can't get into this, right? If I was to take my mop and try to put it in here, I don't have um, this little notch here 
for the handle. So obviously this goes right here in the middle. All right? And you can store it like that if you want to. So now if you listen carefully as I'm turning the knob, you're going to hear the water go from this compartment where it's clean to the compartment right here in the middle. I don't know if you heard it. Okay, so what I do, you see the water is in here now, right? So I just bring my mop up and down a couple of times and then I flip it and get the other side wet. I'm going to show you what it does on this side right here. And I'm hoping you're going to be able to see the water come out this way. So I bring it up. You see, even when you bring it up, it's cleaning it. It doesn't keep the water inside the middle bucket when you bring it up. It ejects it into the dirty water compartment. So I'm going to go down and back up and then flip it the other way. Right? You see the water? Okay. Now I only have clean water. I haven't started mopping yet. But you get the idea. So all I need to do now is mop. And it's really, really easy to manipulate. Let me show you. You see that? I can do 380. Um, let's go underneath the fridge. Half of my mop can go underneath the fridge on this side or on this side, which is great because I do have pets and they do have hair going underneath the fridge. I can go underneath my edges like this or I can go like this but it basically goes anywhere I need it to go. Now the mop head itself is exactly the same size than the frame here so what it does is that it really gets the mop to work along the edges. It doesn't miss anything. So imagine if I'm going around the toilet, right? I can just turn it this way, turn it that way, turn it this way, this way, whichever way I want. It's always going to be along the edges. So, so far I only cleaned a little bit of my kitchen, right? So what I'm going to do is bring that back in the middle right here. I'm getting rid of all the dirt dipping it into the water that I had previously placed into that compartment. I'm going to uh, flip it around. I'm basically cleaning the mop head right now, right? Okay, now if I feel that the floor is really, really dirty and I need another recharge of clean water, I'm just going ahead right here, turning my knob and refilling that particular compartment. Right here. And then I dip again. I got clean water. I can rinse my mop with clean water and any dirt that's on the mop head is going directly into the dirty water compartment. Back to the side and off I go. So I just finished cleaning the uh, floor. I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze out my dirty water inserting my mop inside the middle compartment and again all the dirty water is going to go directly into the dirty water compartment go this way flip it around do that again now is i feel that the water in here in the middle part is not all that dirty i can go ahead and continue to mop if i feel that it's dirty and it needs a refill of clean water turn the knob and it fills up with new water. You have about six times that you can turn that knob until you uh, run out of clean water. So if you could run out of clean water, what do you do? You take your bucket back to your sink, you add hot water and soap, that's it. You're always going to have a fresh supply of clean water to use with your mop. Let's empty it so we can see how dirty the water is, though I gotta be honest, I washed my floor this morning, so it shouldn't be too dirty. So here we go. Again, you can use the little plug here to get the dirty water out. But I want to show you what the water looks like on here. 
Okay. So on one side, remember, this one right here is clean water. This is my intermediary water. And over here is my dirty water. Can you see the dirty water? I'm going to try to just remove that. Here's my dirty water. Right? So I have dirty water on one side. It's kind of hard to remove that water while the other one uh, is still in there. But you see in the middle, that's my intermediary water. It's much cleaner than the dirty water, isn't it? Okay, so let's empty out the whole thing. Maybe you can see how dirty the floor was here. Okay, that's it. I rinse it, put the mop back in, and I'm done. So I'll tell you what, um, how does it compare to the Mopsy? I have the Mopsy. When they started doing the Mopsy commercials, I bought one because, you know, I thought that was a great idea. And I really liked the Mopsy for a very long time. But I just realized that with this one, I can actually get an ongoing supply of clean water, which the Mopsy doesn't give you. The Mopsy, you just put your water in the bucket. You keep getting this water that gets dirtier and dirtier as you keep bringing the mop back in. This one has the middle compartment that's really genius. I think this is great. It's compact. It doesn't weigh a lot. I don't like orange, but you know, maybe one day they'll do it in purple. Again, this handle is very practical. It's got a hook if you want to hook it up. Hey, guess what? You can wash walls and you can wash ceilings with this. Um, they give you six mop heads. I think this is a great deal and a genius, genius system. So, I like it. Guess what? I'm giving it an A. This would fit great in an RV. It would fit great in a small closet if you have a student that just started. Um, and you know are in uh, a small apartment or you know whatever but if you want to they're so small you can even keep one on each floor and they're really easy to carry they really are easy to carry so that's an A for me you guys you want to win one I have two this is all you got to do leave a comment down below let me know you want to be entered in the giveaway Unfortunately, I am not going to ship international this time around. Also, this is US only. I'm sorry, guys. My, my next giveaway, I promise, will be international. So leave me a comment down below. I'll have Willie pick one of you, uh, well, two of you, randomly to get your own mop. Mast Home is the name. I'm putting all the information down below if you want to check it out. I think it's a great product. It's super easy to use good quality. I really like it. A for me. Comment down below if you want to win it. Again, US only. This is going to run until November 1st. So November 1st is when I'll end the giveaway and proclaim to winners. Thank you for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this demo. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.